Hey guys, the Monster here in the Monster Garage, and this is an updated video. I did this, the first one, a long time ago, uh, 2010, I believe, and this is for a highway bracket for the Spider RT. Uh, it will work on 2010 to current uh, 2015 when we're shooting this video. So this video might last into other years, but for sure we know they work with those years. So uh, there's been some changes, and that's why we needed to do an update video. So I'm going to go ahead and do an install and show you what we got going. So over here, uh, this is what you get in the kit. So this is a kit with, with none of the options, no peg options. So basically you get your two brackets. Uh, these are the, the bolts for the brackets. These are the bolts for the pegs. These are the bolts for the bracket this here. These are our bottom bolts. These are our 20 degree links. Now this 20 degree link is what is standard with the kit. Uh, in the old days, you used to get a, a link like this. Uh, this is still an option, but it does not come with the kit anymore. And I'm going to show you towards the end of the video why. But it is an option. So we're going to go ahead and do an install. And uh, real simple. This is on this is on a floorboard uh, RT. Uh, these will work on any RT, whether it has floorboards or not. So we have another kit called a FBB floorboard mount that we recommend for this. Uh, the difference is, is it gets you out a little bit wider and a little it's a little stronger and has a little more adjustment. This one tucks you in tight. Less adjustment, but it's where 99% of everybody puts their feet anyway. So we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, this side panel has to come off. This has got a little latch right here, and uh, it's got two tabs here. So you want to pull from the front. Oops, one there. So you have a, a hole here, a hole here. But as you can see, you got a little tab here. That little tab locks in there. And then these just pop in. So the next thing you're going to want to do is pull off this little splash guard. So we got a little pin here. I just use a screwdriver. There is a pin tool uh, that works too, but most people don't have a pin tool. So you want to go ahead and pull that off. You're going to have a number 30 Torx. That's going to pop off. And this bolt will be replaced with, with this longer bolt here, so you won't, you won't need to reuse this one. Okay. And there's two little pins down here that these lock into the bottom. Um, just basically just pull down on those. And then the whole thing will just slide out. All right, and it's also got tabs here and here that lock in so when you put it back on it just kind of locks in now if you look at this here this is all elongated the reason it's elongated is because the owner was resting their feet on this fin a lot of people do that say that's fine um, it's not it wears this out it will, it will eventually just pull completely through and you have to replace this fin so that's one of the reasons you want to go with the FPV all right, next thing you want to do, we have to pull this pin right here. Same thing, it's a little, little push pin. Just pop it out. And like so. And the reason we're doing that is we want to be able to get to this nut here. And that's the bolt that, mount, that this bracket mounts to, right down there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. And that's a 10 millimeter. And you're going to want to hold the, the back side of the bolt. Put your ratchet on there. So. Okay. That's it loose. Now this little bolt can be a pain. Uh, the left side is usually not bad because it's been taken off before to change the oil. 
but it's got a little bitty clip on it. And my little secret to getting that bolt out, just take a center, center punch to it and just tap on it. Okay, and that just taps the bolt completely out. So, now there's also a uh, splash pan on here. And on the 998s, uh, they tend to get hotter than, uh, well, the 14s, just, they don't get hot at all. But on 998, 998s, they do get hot. Uh, we recommend that you remove this pan and you can keep it off. Uh, there's also a block off plate that, that uh, is available here, uh, sold through shopspiderlovers.com. Uh, it's a Spider Pops uh, block off plate. Uh, once you block this off, you definitely need to remove this pan down here. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, install the bracket. And what I like to do, go ahead and take your bracket. Now you, you do have rights and left. So with, the, with this tab facing forward, this needs to angle back towards the rider. So you got this pet piece here, and then you have this this is your upper piece. It's actually going to bolt on just like that. So you want the radius of this piece to go next. Okay. And then, then you have your 20 degree piece. And this, you want to, it's, it's got a bend in it. So you want the bend towards the bike. So when you put that on, you're going to want it facing towards the rider because your peg is going to come out right here. So go ahead and take the longer half inch bolt and stick that through like so. And we send you an extra bolt. This is for just for mock-up only. Um, this comes off, you don't actually keep it on. It's just so you can easily tighten it up. And the reason being, the bolts that this is replaced is a lock nut. And you can't snug it all the way down with this lock nut. Uh, by hand anyway. Okay, so the bolts are out of the bottom here. You're going to want to get this bolt that we provide. Go ahead and pop the washer off of here. Stick that on. I'm going to just stick that bolt right through there. Just like so. Okay, you got the bolt through there. You want to take your bracket and it's just going to Tuck underneath this piece here, pop on your bolt that you just replaced, and here's your stock nut. I'm going to go ahead and put that like so. And then what I like to do is go ahead and take this bolt here that we're going to replace. It doesn't actually go on now, but you're going to just stick it in the hole for lineup purposes. And that's the only reason I do it. And so when I tighten this down, I know that this bracket is going to be at the right angle. So we'll get under here, put my little wrench on the back side. Actually, sometimes it's better if you put your socket on this side and then the wrench on this side. And this is tying into the steel frame here. It's a nice stout mount for the bottom. Okay, that's nice and tight. Next thing you want to do is pop this pin back in. I always forget to do that. So this is just got to pull over like so. Sometimes a little bit of a pain because of the angle. that back in. So now that this is snugged up, you're going to want to go ahead and pull this, this bolt out. And this flexes quite a bit, so don't worry about it. It's supposed to do that. 
There is tension on it. So take that like so. You're going to want to hook this back on. So this one hook goes into the bottom here. Hook it like so. Make sure this hook snaps in place. And so this piece is actually going to go your new screw. What did I do with it? I'm going to go through the plastic. And then right into the existing hole. Use a tool to help me a little bit. Okay. Just get that started. Make sure not to cross thread it. Make sure this is all in. I'm going to go ahead and get this pop back into place here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and snug this down. And like I say, this will work on all years. This is actually a 2013 that we're doing it on, but it will work on all years. All right, so now you're ready for a peg. This is, uh, once again, this is uh, this nut here. I'm not going to go, I'm just for purpose of the video, you're going to want to place replace that nut with one of these locking nuts. But uh, you're going to want to go ahead and take one the short bolt that we provide and grab one of the, this is our uh, new gripper peg, uh, but this will work with Kiriakin pegs. Uh, we have chevron pegs. We have all sorts of different options. So basically your bolt goes in here. Tighten it up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move this back, put this back on. Once again, you want to latch the top first. So, and then here's, here's the range of adjustments you have. So the, re the reason we go with this 20 degree bracket, um, it actually kicks the, the peg towards the rider instead of straight out. So your foot's less likely to slide off. Um, like I say, you, don't, you, you have a limited amount of adjustment, but pretty much everybody puts their foot right there anyway. Uh, that's why we went with this 20 degree bracket. So that's it on the kit that we showed. I'm going to show you the other option. It's uh, You can find the option in the store. Uh, go ahead and unbolt this here. And that, that's our uh, arc link option. So, pop this off real quick. Okay. And I got one already set up with the peg here, but uh, this is your arc link. It's a four inch arc link. It has adjustable holes. Uh, if you want just a little more adjustment, stick that in like so. Press it down. And we'll go ahead and tighten it up so you can see the full amount of adjustment down and be snug it up. Okay. All right, so here's here's the four inch link. So it does allow you to get a little bit f farther forward. Not much, not much different. It will allow you to get it back a little bit farther if need be, if you have, if you have short legs. Uh, you can get it back towards the rider, but once again, this is straight out from the bike. Not a big deal. Uh, you'll notice a lot of your uh, Harley uh, highway brackets in that are straight out, but it's just more natural with this 20 degree link to be turned in towards the rider. That's the difference. So that's it. This is the MBVs. You can go to themonstergarage.com. Or you can go to shopspiderlovers.com. And uh, if you have any questions, the phone number is at the very top of the page. You can give us a call. I hope you like it. Thank you.